Hey, welcome to the Duranify channel. This little guy here is the gateway drug to FPV. Let's get started and I'll show you what it is. This is the gateway drug to FPV right here, guys. The GetRC Tiny Go 4K. Let's get started. Hey guys, four things, four big asks from you. One of the first one, in the description below, there's affiliate links to the products I'm reviewing today. Use those links, please. It doesn't change the price of the item. All it does, it gives credit for referring the products to you guys. So it doesn't increase the price. Use the links, please. The other ask is I'm trying to get to 3,000 subscriber by the end of the quarter. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Help me out. Give me some love back. Number three is hit that thumbs up. Hit the like button. YouTube likes the like button. And number four, share the video. If it's worthy, share it. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's get to this review of this little gateway drug FPV drone, the Tiny Go 4K by Gep RC. All right, guys, this is the reason why I'm calling this the gateway drug to FPV. And this old style bag, like camcorder bag they used to use in the 80s and 90s, comes everything you need to get into FPV. The front pouch here is a small little pouch. You can keep all your accessories like battery straps, propellers, tie wraps, screwdrivers, screws, and this really nice little controller menu board for your programming of your VTX OSD. Uh, also in here, I put my my four port charger and it's pretty straightforward guys you just plug plug in your batteries like so you put it all four at the same time and you plug it into your USB A and you charge all your batteries okay very nice put those back in here zip it up and I'll show you what's in the main pocket here up front. I'm going to turn this around like so. Unzip it. And I'm going to spin it around so you guys can see it better this way. Okay, so now you can see better what's going on. You get the goggles, your controller, and your quadcopter. Okay, let's go ahead and pull them all out. I'm going to put the bag aside. So this is what comes in the bag. As you can see, it's a pretty decent little bag, right? And uh, very, very nice. So let's start with the goggles. Let's talk about the goggles first. Then we'll talk about the controller. And then we'll go ahead and talk about the quadcopter, the main event. Okay? So let me get this camera to focus a little better. Uh, pretty decent little set of goggles, guys. It comes with um, diversity antennas, two of them right here. You can see that it has all these buttons and a little speaker here. This is your search button. Your menu button also serves as your power on and off button. You have your record button, your channel, your band select have the LEDs that tell you if you, when you're charging your battery. So to charge the battery, you got this USB-C port right here that you can charge a battery uh, inside the goggles. So no external battery required. It's got this audio port here, and it's got the micro 
SD card DVR right here. It's an 800 by 480 display. It's a 4x3 format. Very large, very nice. Compare to the ready to fly combo from VMAX. And you can see there's quite a bit of difference, right? Look and see the format, quite a bit of difference. The other thing is it has an external battery compared to the Emacs ready to fly uh, kit. And this does not have a DVR. So superior um, goggles compared to the Emacs. So like these a lot, really do. Okay, let's put these aside and move this in its place. This is a superior product compared to the Emox also. It's got better gimbals, okay? Gimbals are like you would see in a normal flight uh, controller, uh, not flight controller, um, controller that you buy like, you know, FR Sky or something like that. Um, and they do a really good job. So let me show you the differences too. Let me get the other controller out and I'll show you the difference. Okay, so this, this is the gumball gimbals. See, they just don't feel the same. And the LED is really hard to see. The other thing that they did not do was they did not label their switches. I actually put the label on there and you can see they're peeling off. Uh, but that's how I know um, the functions of each one of those switches. It only has two switches. This has got four switches. Uh, this will bind to different the, the GEPRC controller, they call it the GR8, will bind to three different quads. This on-off switch, this is your beeper switch, this is your flight mode switch. You can go from acro, horizon, and angle. This here is an auxiliary four switch. You can program it in beta flight. And this is your arm button. This is how you arm that controller. Also, it's got the lanyard um, hook here, so you can put your lanyard on it. And uh, yeah, and so it's got a bright LED light. And uh, this is what happens when you lose um, connection to your receiver. Okay, let's put this aside and bring in the main event. This is a really, really good product. The frame is flexible and durable. The ducts or prop guards here have one, two, three supports. You can see that right there. These three supports are very good supports. Four screws for your motors. Everything in here is plug and play. So this all-in-one F4 12 amp EFC flight controller, everything plugs and plays to it. You can see when you burn out a motor, it's just unplug it and replace it. You burn out your receiver, you replace it. You burn out your camera, you unplug it and replace it. Okay, so rugged, it's got these bumpers right here, good bumpers, really canopy on top, it's well protected. While we're here, you can see this little cable right there. That little cable is the interface to that OSD board, the program board, okay, it's got this by bipole antenna here that attaches to the VTX right there. The VTX is by default 200 milliwatts. Now the Emacs products like the Tawny Hall Freestyle you have to program it yourself. Now the VTX then connects to your 
to the camera, which is a Cadex Lurus camera. It's a 4K camera and a really good little camera, guys. I mean, really good. So that little camera right there, 4K, 60 frames a second. Unheard of. Okay, so let's get back to the stack in here. Hard to see, but I'll try to get it to focus just right. There's three stacks in here. Three sets of boards. You got your flight controller, your VTX, and right underneath there, right in there, is your DVR. You can see the SD card, that little black sliver, is your VTX. Uh, I'm sorry, DVR recorder with the micro SD card. Now, let's get back to the VTX. The VTX is, you, probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this antenna to a little right-handed polarized little circle lollipop antenna because it, once you get the signal bouncing off trees, it will create these lines and that's what you see in your analog video. So by having good antennas, it decreases those lines. So just by upgrading to a lollipop polarizing, right-handed polarized antenna, you'll, you'll get better signal back to your goggles. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, this is this really, really well-designed little board, little quadcopter. There's your two battery leads right here for your batteries it uses two 1s lipos 530 milliamps is what milliamp yeah milli hour amps yeah mhas this is the f4 12 amp sc as mentioned everything plugs and play your motor are 1102s 10,000 kv you burn them out, something happens to your motor, you don't have to solder, you just unplug them and you put in your new motor and you plug it back in. Well, well designed product. Your receiver, full, full blown, eight channel, up to a mile range, two antennas, receiver. Something happens to your receiver, you unplug it, and you replace it. Very, very nice. Really is. Eight channels. Easy to bind. Here's your micro USB interface to beta flight. So if you need a program, change your mode, set your auxiliary, everything. Aux4 switch to it through this port here. Really easy to program. And there's the bottom of that Cadex Lore's camera, you can see. Again, everything's plug and play. Very well designed. Really like the design. And this is what it looks like from the front. As you can see. It's a nice little setup. So, while I'm talking about the rest of the features here, I'm probably just going to show you some videos. I'm going to be showing you the videos from the DVR and the video from the goggles and comparing the two as I'm flying this little quadcopter out in my front yard. This is going to be my daily flyer in the front yard. You know, when you go out in front and just fly, 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 shoot through little gaps. I mean, just outstanding little flyer. The wind doesn't take it away that easily because of the fact that now you're running two lipos on it. And um, it's a little heavier. Um, the ducted little props here, man, they work so well. Really like this product. Again, you don't lose um, connectivity to it, and the power on the VTX is 200 milliwatts. So it, it definitely uh, 
can get around some shrubs and some trees without breakup. And it won't fail safe on you. It will drop out of the sky. So I have it set to drop in fail safe and highly recommend that you guys set it to drop when it fail safes so yeah i mean it's really nice design let me go ahead and show you how the batteries fit in here really easy to install the batteries let me get those batteries out again we'll have to open up this little pouch to get the batteries out bear with me there we go. Oh yeah, and here's that little OSD menu board that I was talking about. So yeah, that's where it plugs in, right up there, right up here. And yeah, really easy. Okay, let's get this thing, uh, batteries installed in here. So pretty straightforward, just slide them in. Put them in this way. This one always gives me a hard time, the little wrap right here is kind of warped a little bit. And yeah, just plug in the bottom first and plug in the top. Yep. And that's the beeper. Um, it knows that uh, I don't have it hooked up. It'll stop beeping here in a second. There you go. And so it's bind and ready to go. So pretty quiet, right? Oops. <laughs> oh wow. There you go. That's what it sounds like. It's pretty quiet. <laughs> it caught me by surprise there. Uh, you put it like this, it screams, right? You ready? Here we go. <laughs> uh, so, guys, big ask. I'm going to put the affiliate links to these products below. I want you to use them. It doesn't change the price or increase the price of the product. It All it does, it gives credit to the sale to the person that created the links, the affiliate links. By using those affiliate links, it gives us a commission that helps us procure products like this so we can review and show you guys how they work. That helps to purchase new products stay tuned to the channel because new products are coming out all the time and very exciting year in 2021 with that pv got a lot of products out there i've been reviewing the emacs baby hawk hd2 oh my god so cool it's a 4s little quadcopter that has a Catech Vista digital system in it that allows you to bind them or link them to your DJI version 2 goggles. Really good stuff. I mean, really good stuff coming out. So stay tuned to the channel. We're going to be talking about all the latest and greatest FPV stuff that's hit in the street that is worth purchasing or worth looking at. So once again, use those affiliate links and subscribe 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 because trying to get to 3,000 subscriber here in early 2021 help me out guys give me some love back i want to thank you for your time i appreciate you guys watching and let's go outside and fly this thing and have a good time and let me show you what the video looks like once again thanks for watching see you around